I like the twist of Roman being the killer. Very surprising. I was disappointed that there was only one killer instead of the, well, I thought traditional two. Uh, I thought it was traditional for there to be two killers in each Scream film. I guess I was wrong. Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was, I was kind of being cheated there. But it was alright. A few other things that I liked in the movie was the Carrie Fisher cameo, which I just thought was hilarious, as well as the Randy video. A reason why some fans hated Scream 2 with a passion was the infamous death of Randy. People complained that he was the comic relief and he knew all the rules and thus shouldn't be murdered. But I felt that that was the reason why they killed him and it was a good twist. I understood that one of the original characters needed to die and if it was going to be any of them it should have been Randy. And I probably, probably would have done the same thing. At least they spared Dewey, who was going to be terminated in Scream 2. I like the idea of Randy being in the video, as I felt that in some form or another, Randy needed to save the rules like he traditionally did. The producers were going to bring him back from the dead in Scream 3, but they decided not to go with it because they knew that it was too far-fetched, which I agree on. There are plenty of surprising twists, good story elements, hilarious scenes and lines, and plenty of violence without making the story crap. One reason why a lot of people don't like this film, not that they admit it, is the ending. All oh, the movie doesn't end in blood, gore, and death, you poor babies. Believe it or not, there's nothing illegal about a scary movie having a happy ending. I very, very much like the ending to this movie. One problem I had with this movie was Dewey proposing to Gail. While I liked this and I felt that it was appropriate, especially since I like both characters, it, it, it's just that I, I know that they've gone back together and everything, but have they even started dating again? Or, or something. I, I don't know. Maybe they didn't need to. I'm kind of inexperienced with how romance goes, so I won't go into that too much. I'm probably just plain wrong. So, okay. Um, another thing about the ending is that it finally shows that Cindy has moved on and is ready to live a happy new life, and I loved that. Please, God, I hope that they won't make a sequel. There's absolutely no reason for a Scream 4 to be made. Everything has been tied up. The fourth movie will no doubt destroy everything that these three movies have stood for. Terrible, terrible idea. Hope it doesn't work. Anyway, to me, this film, as far as its place in the trilogy goes, it's like Return of the Jedi. Everyone hates it but me, it's weaker than its superseding masterpieces, but as a regular movie, it's fine, just fine. Everything was resolved and the story ended well. I'm Spencer24Sony, and this is my review of Scream 3.